This is Epic. Welcome to Epic. The first thing to do when you install Epic is to click on this blue link, Epic Privacy Features. You can enable Adblock and enable the VPN. Both are highly recommended. Note that when you enable the VPN, your device is going to show a pop-up asking you to enter your passcode in order to give permission to Epic to add its VPN profile to your device. So you need to do that in order to enable the VPN functionality. Otherwise, the VPN functionality won't work in Epic. Once you've done that, you'll see you have a VPN option here. I'm going to turn on the VPN right now. And you've got seven countries to choose from. It's absolutely free. We have a strict no logging pri uh, policy. And so you can use the VPN to hide your location. Note that some websites won't load if you have the VPN on. They'll block access via VPN. So then you could just disable the VPN here on the new tab page if you need to. Some websites also won't load if you have ad block enabled. So you can use this menu on the top left, this three line menu, and then click on the Epic icon and you can disable ad block for any particular website using this control. All the other privacy protections in Epic are enabled by default. So things like our encrypted data preference, fingerprinting protection, Blocking phishing and malware, all of these things are enabled by default in Epic. You don't need to do anything. Here in the settings, it is recommended that you close all tabs and delete browsing data regularly for your privacy. Now, you can access the settings again via this menu at the top left, the three-line menu, and then this little dial icon at the left, and that opens up Epic settings and the close all tabs and delete browsing data option. Now, there are other features in privacy protections in Epic. So here in the New York Times, so if you see in the New York Times, for example, even if you read just two or three articles a month, they will ask you to log in. So one of the things you can do in Epic is at the top right uh, with this line icon, you can click on that. At the top right, you can click on that and you can click on text mode. So once you have te text mode, you can take a look and you can read the whole article with just text and images. So you don't have to log in, you don't have to compromise your, your privacy by logging into the New York Times. You could just use Epic's text mode and bypass uh, that, uh, that content wall and you could access the New York Times article. You could do that for Bloomberg.com. So here's the text and images for an article I read so I don't have to log in and compromise my privacy. And you could do it for, any, for an article at any website if you just want a cleaner reading interface. Some of the other features that are supported in this top right menu, uh, whoops, let me just click back here, cancel. And this top right line menu, if you click on it, you could read the article to you. You can add the article to the audio queue. So appropriately on a runner's world article, let's suppose you're going for a run and you want the news of the day, a set of four or five web pages or news articles read to you. You can add this article to your audio queue. You could add this article to your audio queue. So if you read the, the headline here, massive spying on users of Google Chrome, you understand that you're in the right application. It's great that you're using Epic, the Epic privacy browser now instead of Chrome. So you can click on the top right. You can add it to the audio queue. And then now you can open the audio queue. If you click play, Epic will start reading these web pages to you. As race after race was canceled this spring because... So you can use the audio queue when you're on the go. Now, Epic also has built in a file vault. So for instance, let's say you want to save this, this, fall, this small photo. You can download the photo to Epic's file vault. Now, if you want to access that vault, you're going to have to enter your password because I put it in the vault, not in normal downloads. You can access the downloads here in the top left three-line menu. Click on the download icon. So I don't have anything, the, the unencrypted downloads. In the encrypted vault, I have to enter my password. And then I can see here, there's an image here. I can decrypt it, move it to the decrypted downloads, and then I can view it. And here's that image. So any files that you download, you can move them into the encrypted vault and you can hide them uh, so that no one else can see them or access those, those images or those files. It could be a PDF file, it could be an image, it could be another kind of a file on your device. Um, 
So those are a lot of the features in Epic. You can, in terms of managing your tabs, you can scroll left and right through the tabs, or at the bottom right in the new tab page, you can browse for all the open tabs. And then you've got another uh, feature that you can save uh, via at the bottom, the little button at the bottom in the middle with an up arrow. If you click on that, you could print the article. You can also save it as a PDF file, or you can share that web page um, through different apps. Uh, Epic uh, does not have any browsing history. So if you type in FA, it still fills in facebook.com, but that's through a local database. We do not analyze your browsing history. There is no browsing history in Epic. It's in an always on private browsing mode. Uh, down here as well, we don't analyze what websites you visit. So all of these websites are, are set by the user. So you determine which websites you can set here. So that's an introduction to Epic. We hope that you enjoy browsing privately online. We hope you really enjoy the Epic privacy, the privacy experience of Epic and the Epic Privacy Browser. Please spread Epic and share it with your friends and family. Thank you so much. We hope you enjoy Epic.